Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is another Patreon only video on how to install FreeSwitch on Debian 12. I have a video on how to install FreeSwitch on Debian 11 uh, in my YouTube channel, but I can say for the most of the cases, you really don't need to install FreeSwitch from source code and a package installation will work for you. If you really don't want to change anything in the source code or install a, a specific module, then package installation will work 100% for you. It's much more faster, especially if you want to test, for example, something, or even for the production. I mean, it's totally stable and it's totally working. And if you don't want to customize a source code, package installation is the way to go. In this video, I will, I will teach you how to install FreeSwitch on uh, Debian 12. Also, I have uh, listed all the steps that I'm using here in a Word file that you can download from the same post and just follow the steps. Thank you again for supporting my channel and I hope this video is useful. If you have any questions, please put in the comment of this uh, video. Thank you. Let's start by creating a VM in DigitalOcean. Of course, you can create in any cloud provider. Uh, I just want to uh, tell you what is the environment I'm using. So I will create a droplet. I selecting my location. We really don't need for this testing a very high uh, performance VM. So I will set up the basic and a regular VM with one gigabyte and uh, one CPU. That will totally work for us. Or let's give it more, two gigabyte, one CPU. Uh, I will add my SSH keys and then I give it a name. Uh, let's name it FreeSwitch. And I will create the droplet. Meantime, while the uh, droplet is creating, I, uh, for FreeSwitch installation, we need to have an account in the signal wire. So just uh, go and create an account in the signal wire. And you need to create a token. In order to create a personal access token, when you log into your account, you can click on the personal access token. Of course, for this installation, you don't need to have any credit in it because you can generate a token as much as you want. So personal access token, add new token, give it a name. Let's say, for example, my free switch, generate a token. Uh, don't close the token. Uh, don't close this window because if you close it, then you cannot see it. Of course, you can generate as much as you want. So it's not a big deal. Let's see if our VM is created. Great, it's created. Let's open a terminal. Make it bigger. And let's SSH to our Debian 12. So what operating system we are using, cat etc star release. You can see we are using Debian 12 bookworm version. I've, test, I've tested the same mechanism on the Ubuntu server and it's working. So you can uh, use that one as well. Let's go and see how we can install. The first step is to create a token. You have already created the token, just copy it. And in your uh, Terminal, just put token equals to the token that you have it, and enter. Now I have attached a, a Word file that I have explained all the steps. It's easier to follow these steps, exactly the same thing that I have entered here, token equals to your token that you are getting. First, just install the requirements that we have uh, for this installation. We will just apt update, it's always a good practice to update your operating system and install the uh, required packages. Then we will actually get the repository and echo that to our repository list. You can just copy the uh, same uh, commands that I have here and paste it here. As you can see, the uh, what, we, what we have done, we uh, in installed, we copied the FreeSwitch signal wire repo into our repo list and also we added the GPG key. And now it's very easy. You can just update your repo and install FreeSwitch meta all. So apt upgrade, apt install and FreeSwitch meta all. And that's it. It will install the FreeSwitch service for you. 
Uh, it will take time based on your internet speed, of course, and uh, your VM uh, performance. And the post installation steps are very easy as well. You can just uh, start and enable the free switch service. These options are these uh, parameters and these uh, steps are optional. So if you want to have, a, I recommend to do it. If you want to have a DNS caching and proper uh, entropy source for the encryption and also for the synchronization of the time, it's recommended to use this, uh, to install these three packages, but it's optional if you really uh, want to use it for the testing or even for the production, or if you have another NTP source and if you are sure about your DNS, then you don't need to install uh, these packages. And what you need to do, I mean, up to this stage is your free switch uh, installation. So let's see how long does it take to install on this other VM. As you can see, it's unpacking. Okay, it took about uh, 10 minutes to install the free switch on my VM with the specs that you saw, one CPU and two gigabyte RAM. If you have a more powerful CPU, then of course it will be faster. After it is installed, you can just system CTL start free switch to start the free switch service. And also you need to enable the free switch service. So every time that you are rebooting the system, then it doesn't need to, uh, it won't need to go and start the free switch manually. And in order to verify, you can just run FS underline CLI and you are connected to the uh, free switch console. Uh, to ensure, I always do the SOFIA status to see if my default profiles are loaded. It shows that everything is perfect and everything is working. I just want to uh, tell you that if, you're, uh, if you have a problem, you can run the journal CTL dash F uh, to see the uh, problem or uh, when you are starting the system, system CTL status free switch. Uh, if there is a problem, you can see the problem and the logs using the journal CTL dash F command to uh, see the problem. I didn't have any problem, so I'm not seeing any uh, logs here as well. So if you have a problem installation, you need to provide that log in your question, the journal CTL dash F output and uh, run that command and then start the service and whatever error you are getting, you can ask about uh, about that problem in your help. So that's, that's important to have it in your question. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I will try to put more videos, especially on the AI integration on the free switch and also on the VCDL in the following week and the next week. Hope to see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.